Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture of process modeling and simulation and the module which we are covering these days is related to the reactors. So in this activity, which is R equilibrium, we have to define the stoichiometry, but we do not need to specify the kinetics or it is not a rigorous model and field number can be any. So there are two objectives of the simulation, just calculate the outlet temperature of the reactor and calculate the equilibrium constant. Obviously, we have to define the equilibrium reaction and link with serial number 1 and 2 of this course as serial number 1 is related to the fundamentals and number 2 is related to the simulation. So, we have been given an ammonia synthesis reaction, a famous reaction 0.5 moles of nitrogen reacts with 1.5 moles of hydrogen to form 1 mole of ammonia. And we have been given the feed condition of pressure as 1 atm, temperature 323 kelvin, feed 100 k mol per hour with mole fraction of hydrogen and nitrogen 0.5.5 each. And as we have discussed in our thermodynamics lecture that for ammonia system, we use Pang-Robinson. And we have been given the reactor conditions that pressure is 0 and heat duty is 0. With pressure as 0, we always know what does that mean. So, if 100 k mole feed containing equimolar nitrogen and hydrogen and 1 atm in 323 kelvin is to undergo an equilibrium reaction to produce ammonia, find the outlet reactor temperature and equilibrium constant. So, we all know equilibrium constant value and before doing it, I would suggest you to go to CRE concepts and check what is meant by the equilibrium constant. So, nitrogen, hydrogen, ammonia are added, Pengro-Benson is selected, reactor is added vapor and liquid. Feed is specified, pressure and duty are specified over here. In reactions, click on new nitrogen, hydrogen and ammonia. And then you get the final outlet temperature of this reactor, final outlet temperature of stream from this reactor which is 204.316 which is even written over here which is the equilibrium temperature and equilibrium constant is calculated. So let's quickly go to S1 plus and simulate it. So it is very much simple nitrogen, hydrogen, NH3, ammonia is added, click on next, Peng Robinson is selected, click on next and then click on run. And once results are available, go to the simulation environment and in the simulation environment go to this reactors and this is our equilibrium, rigorous equilibrium reactor based on stoichiometric approach. Our equilibrium, this is rigorous in a sense that it gives you information about equilibrium constant but when we talk about rigorous we need information about length of the reactor, volume of the reactor, diameter of the reactor just like in case of PFR, plug flow or we need volume of the reactor just like in case of CSTR. So this is not rigorous in terms of these parameters. So This is S3, align it and then click on this S1 and give the feed conditions. What are the feed conditions? 323 Kelvin, 1 atm, 100 k mol per hour, hydrogen, nitrogen as 0 0.5, 0 0.5 each. So as you can see, 323 Kelvin, pressure as 1 atm, mole flow of 100 k mol per hour, nitrogen and hydrogen mole fraction as 0 0.5, 0 0.5 each. Click on next and convert it to duty, 0 atm and 0 calories per second. You are not giving any heat to this system. First you need to specify the reactants which is nitrogen and hydrogen and the products is ammonia and obviously none of these is solid so obviously the solid would be no now the coefficient and if i take you back 0.5 for nitrogen 1.5 for hydrogen 1 for ammonia 0.5 for nitrogen it will automatically convert it to minus 0.5 because it's a reactant side and 1 for ammonia and you can see this tick button is now active there is no need to define temperature approach or extent estimate and you can simply click on this and once after running you can go to this main flow sheet and in stream results you can see that it was entering at 323 kelvin and leaving at 477.466 kelvin or if you want to convert it to degree centigrade you can see 204.316 degree centigrade as you can see 204.316 degree centigrade so now go to main flow sheet click on the stream results click on results and in k equilibrium you can see equilibrium constant is 0.56165 this is in Kelvin, you can convert it to degree centigrade and it, this is 204.316. So that's how you simulate the equilibrium reactor for the equilibrium conversion of nitrogen and hydrogen to ammonia. 
so that's it from this lecture the next lecture we will simulate the gibbs reactor